Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jay to Death, and we're going to talk about Sony and Microsoft. And Microsoft, if you take any more shots at Sony, you might not have a future in the next two years. You're, you live in a glass house. So what? Sony doesn't have backwards compatibility. Xbox, you are the laziest fucking company right now. Let me explain something to you, buddy. Phil, Sunday, you have to be the fucking best salesman on the planet. Xbox equals no exclusive content. Pre-E3, everybody's thought process is Xbox equals no exclusive content. Pre-E3 2017. Xbox equals no exclusive content. Before E3, everybody's thinking, why should I buy a Scorpio? Anybody over at fucking Microsoft right now should shut the fuck up. You need to go to Phil and you need to say, hey Phil, we need exclusives. We not only need exclusives, we need... The brand to have a diverse library of games more than fucking shooters. That's fucking real. You need a library of games that look like the games from the 360s. Otherwise, the Scorpio is going to sit on the fucking shelf. So, until you get that in the Xbox One... Do me a favor. Shut the fuck up. Now, let me go ahead and do what I do best, which is hand Sony their ass on a silver platter. It's been a while since I fucking beat the shit out of Sony. Sony, I've taken a break from just talking shit on you and just verbally beating the fuck out of you. Mainly because you've stayed out of the news. It's been Microsoft who can't shut the fuck up recently. But you decided to open your fucking mouth. You decided, hey, let's jump into the news because we've stayed silent long enough. And what brought you into the news? Backwards compatibility. And it was good old Sean that decided to open his fucking cocksucker. He decided that we should address the fact that we don't have backwards compatibility. Something all us PS4 owners know. And that we want to strangle you about. Now it seems there's a new article out by Forbes... Link will be in the description down below, saying Sony doesn't understand why backwards compatibility is important. Well, no shit. They don't understand, because they're in it for money. But PlayStation Now is a failure. Let me explain why. Nobody is going to pay you, Sony, for a game they already own. I'm not going to pay you to play this on your PS4 through PlayStation Now if I already own the son of a bitch. Not only own it here, but say I also own it here. Why in the fuck would I give you $10 a month to play a game that I own on another system? Chances are... I still have that other system. You ignorant, dumb fuck. Do you see the problem? You don't understand why backwards compatibility is a thing. Why people love backwards compatibility. Okay. Let's dig in a little deeper, shall we? You've got a game coming out, right? It's called Crash Bandicoot. Insane Trilogy. I got two Crash Bandicoot games right the fuck here. 
You want to know how much this shit cost me to get both of these games? Oh, well, let's look at the price of the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, shall we? It's going to run you what? About 40, 45, 50 bucks? Somewhere in that vicinity? Well, for each one of these games, case and manual, as you can see, case manual. Both of them have them, in case you think I'm bullshitting you. Here we go. Well, this even has a little insert here. Alright, so we have a case that's open now, and we have a manual, which I will pull out and show you, demonstrate to you. Look at that, it's a manual. Alright, so that's one. Case and manual is complete and all that shit. And here's the second one. Pull this one out here, and just like the first one, insert. The only one I don't have is part three, so let's get this manual out of here. By the way, this was a good little find. But look at that. Look at that. Book, manual, inserts, all that good shit. I'm going to put these inserts back in here, but guess how much all this shit ran me. You ain't going to believe this. Five bucks a game. Five bucks a game. Came with the inserts. Came with the discs. Came with the manuals. Five, ten. Five bucks, five bucks, that's ten, ten bucks. And the best part is, I also got a system with two controllers and a memory card when I bought both of those. That made the price rise up to 20 bucks for everything. So I still paid less than it will cost me to buy Crash Bandicoot the Insane Trilogy. And if I can find the third one, it will cost me less to buy that game to add to these two than it will to buy the insane trilogy I don't give a fuck about trophies most people don't give a fuck about trophies when they're playing old games they just want to play the fucking game most people like the idea of an updated graphics that's it that's as far as their brain thought process has gone bring the graphics up to date that's it. They don't care about trophies. Here's another thing. Okay. Um, your online store, right? Your, your online store. You have Grand Theft Autos. Two of my favorites. Guess how many times I've beaten these. By the way, these are both complete in box. Black label. Um, you're overcharging for them overcharging for them and their digital copies by the way I've seen the prices oh you have sales bringing them down to actual retail price for trophies you're overcharging for these games on your store how much did I pay for both of these five bucks a game complete both of them have the poster both of them had the manual. Five fucking dollars a pop. You want to know why fucking people want backwards compatibility where they can just plug in the game? It's because all they want to do is be able to go, Hey man, I feel, I feel like playing Grand Theft Auto 5 right... Or, not Grand Theft Auto 5. I feel like playing Grand Theft Auto 3 today. Let me just plug the game in. I already own the fucking game. I already own it. Most people held on to their PS2 games because they love those games. They fucking love them. They bought all those games. They bought a fuck ton of those games. Not only did they buy them, they sold them and they bought them again. They heavily invested in those games. Myself included. Why do you think I still have Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, God of War 1, God of War 2, Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts 2, Shadow Hearts. Why the fuck do you think I have those games? Because I bought them, sold them off, bought them again, sold them off again, bought them again. I still have these games. 
I invested in them like most of these other people today. They bought them, got rid of them, bought them again. They don't want to pay you, Sony, for a digital copy. I don't care about trophies. Because now they're like my age. When those things were going on and they were on the market, that was the thing going on in the market, they were in high school. They didn't care. Now they're my age. You know, I'm in my 30s now. I'm 32. I'm going to be 33 June 19th. Now we bought them. We're not ever going to get rid of them again because they're harder to find now. We don't want to give you any money no more, Sony. We don't want to give you any more fucking money than we already have. We've basically bought these games so much when they were in on the market, when they were the actual time frame. We probably paid more for the game than they're worth. And trophies is not going to make us want to buy the game anymore. <sighs> Backwards compatibility works for Xbox. And it works yay much, but that's because Xbox has other problems. Okay? Before you go off on your little, well, Xbox isn't successful. Xbox has other problems. They have their own world of fucking problems where they ship out controllers all the fucking times. Like, everybody needs a controller. Even if you don't have a fucking Xbox One, you need an Xbox One controller to shove up your ass. They have other problems. PlayStation is a machine that ports everything. They just believe in porting every fucking thing, okay? I've said that on how many times. And they need to stop. They need to stop porting things. They need to they need to just go ahead and make backwards compatibility a thing. It's a Blu-ray player. It's not a 4K Blu-ray player. It's a Blu-ray player. And if you don't know that a Blu-ray player can play DVDs, please slap yourself because you are really fucking stupid. Um, a Blu-ray player can play DVDs. I've seen it and I've done it. And Sony is just fucking retarded for not doing it. Um, they have literally been trying to make up all the money they lost from the PS3. I've said this before too. They are literally trying their damnedest to make up all the money they lost from the PS3. You can say that's not true all you want to. But Sony is. It boils down to that. I will continue to say that. Because it's what it boils down to. They're trying their damnedest to make up all the money they lost from the PS3. It explains PlayStation Now, does it not? PlayStation Now charges you for something that is free. Backwards compatibility is free. But they found a way to charge you for it. Because Sean says it's not really popular. Really? Have you ever been to a retro gaming store, Sean? Chances are no. Chances are Sean has only ever been to a GameStop. GameStop doesn't really do the whole retro market, correct? I mean, they just got into it, so they don't really do the retro market. He wouldn't know that there's retro stores that actually exist and they actually, you know, kind of threaten GameStop. Because retro stores go from the 80s and even further back, they go to like Jaguar, Atari Jaguar and ColecoVisions all the way up to the PS4. He wouldn't know anything about that. People like the older generations because you can plug this in and not worry about DLCs. Worry about having server connection problems. Worry about all that. You don't have to worry about that, man. Because PlayStation, Sean, buddy, let me talk to you. Your servers, pardon me, your servers suck. PlayStation Network goes down like clockwork. 
Xbox goes down like clockwork. Okay? Shit. I don't know why the fuck you started... I know why you started charging people for that shit. So you can make money to make up for the PS3. But it's not like you improved on anything. Bitch, you still get hacked. You still fucking suck. And nothing has improved. Fuck out of here. You want to know why people want fucking old games to be played and still play their PS2 and why they still fucking play PlayStation 1? It's because they don't have to worry about DLC. They don't have to worry about server problems. They don't have to worry about add-ons. They don't have to worry about season passes. They can just play the fucking game, which is all they want to do in the first fucking place. I know it's a complication fucking theory, isn't it? That's the truth. Link to the description. Link will be in the description down below to the Forbes article. Link will be in the description down below about Sean talking about why PlayStation doesn't have backwards compatibility. And Link will be in the description down below on Xbox throwing stones even though they live in a glass house. To Sony about backwards compatibility hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't i am ending the video here because i have gone on for a long time um but i think that covers it this is pre e3 e3 kicks off sunday i believe with microsoft doing their thing um phil i'm not holding my breath because I don't expect you to fucking um, tell fucking play anywhere to go to hell. Because you are a fucking idiot. But if you do, Xbox might actually make a comeback. That, my friends, is called hopeful wishing. And until then, deuces.